Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest stable version of the Brave Web Browser version 1.31 is now rolling out. It started rolling out yesterday on the 19th of October 2021, and we have also been upgraded to Chromium version 95 in this latest stable release to the Brave Web Browser, as Brave is a Chromium-based web browser based on the open source Chromium platform. Now, in this latest release, version 1.31, there are a couple of add-ons that have been added to the browser, some updates, I see some bug fixes listed, and also we get the all-important security fixes in Chromium version 95, which address numerous security issues and flaws in the Chromium engine. Now, just to mention some of the key highlights for you quickly, um, Brave say they have added support for custom filter lists in the Shields, the Brave Shields, which is the ad block found in the top right of the address bar. So Brave Shields now has support for custom filter lists. And there's also a new web discovery project, which has been added to the browser called WDP for short. And this is with the Brave search. And I actually took a screenshot of this earlier as the, uh, the, the option kept coming and going. And this was just the easiest way to demonstrate. It says here, opt into the web discovery project to anonymously contribute some search and browsing data and improve Brave search results for all. And they say your privacy is preserved in this latest project. And you have the option to opt in and out and then don't ask again. So this is completely optional, the new web discovery project. Now, the uh, rewards panel has received a visual redesign and has been updated visually. And I think that looks a lot better to how it looked previously. Um, it looks a lot more modern and minimal and we can see the old f the fluent design rounded corners thing going on here and i think that's a nice upgrade to the rewards panel uh, in the browser and sticking with visual redesign the private window new tab page has also received a visual redesign and if we just go to new private window with tor yeah we can see that has been re redesigned visually and has some extra information which has been added and i think that's a nice upgrade to the private window new tab page design in the browser as well and then if we just head to our settings privacy and security and site and shield settings there used to be a option here for idle detection now idle detection is a privacy feature i have mentioned in previous videos and basically what it does is it notifies developers when a user is idle, indicating such things as lack of interaction with the keyboard, mouse, screen, activation of a screensaver, locking of the screen, or moving to a different screen. Now, there have been a lot of privacy concerns with this new idle detection, and Brave has decided to remove the option um, in its privacy and security menu from the browser in this latest update to the browser. Now, if you'd like to see if you have the latest version, as always, we just head to the top right to the menu about Brave. And the latest version is 1.31.87. And the latest Chromium version is 95.0.4638.54. And that's exactly the same Chromium version now as the Google Chrome web browser. And to get to the, re to the release notes, we click on the version. And I have mentioned the key highlights in the release notes for you already. And at the bottom here, we get some bug fixes that are mentioned and also upgraded to Chromium 95. And this latest um, Chromium version 95 carries 19 important security fixes to the Chromium engine. So, you know, it's important, even if you're not interested in new features and add-ons, it's important you make sure you're up to date um, to get those all important security fixes that have been addressed and those security flaws that have been addressed with those 19 security fixes in this latest version to the Brave browser. So that's more or less what's new in version 1.31 of the Brave web browser with Chromium version 95. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.